Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview video. Today we're going to be looking at inventory and item management. So what we're going to focus on today is a uh, item master data. This is a one large data piece that's within Business One for you. And what I mean by that is it's a very important uh, data source to have within the system because this is all of the items that you have. So let's take a look at what we've got going on on this item master data. So I'm going to click on my item master data. It's going to take me over to a find screen and it's going to actually allow me to go in and find all of the items that I have. So if I know the item number, I can do that and put that in, but I'm just going to do my wild card because I want to be able to see all of the items that I have within the system. So let's go down here and let's look at uh, an item that I have uh, within my system here. Let's look at a printer and let's choose that. So now let's take a look at what we've got going on with this item master. Quite a lot of information to cover because this is what's going to drive pricing. This is what's going to drive inventory. This is what's going to drive vendor purchasing, planning, whatever it might be. So let's just take a quick look at what we've got going on here. We can see that my unit price for this item is $400, and this is based off of a base price, but I do have different price lists within the system. I could choose uh, some discounted lists. I could have a distributor sales partner list. There's many different ways that I can have price lists for a specific item in the system. Under my purchasing data, we can find out heights, lengths, widths, unit of measures for this item here. And I could go in and I can see then under my unit of measure or, my, or how often this has been ordered here, you can see by through graphs and through charts, it uh, gives me an idea up here at the top of the purchase analysis by this item. So that's a really nice way of looking at how, uh, how this item is moving within my system. Up here on the right-hand side, we can see that this is an inventory item. It's available for purchase on sales orders. It is a sales item, so I can put it onto a sales order. And it's a purchased item, so I purchase it. I don't produce it. So let's go over and let's look at sales data that we have here. We can see under my sales data, this is based on a single unit within the system. I could also do another report here, and I could see based on my sales data information how this item has been performing on my uh, sales orders. Another great way of, of looking at data uh, from this data master, but d driving into purchase orders and diving into sales orders. Over here under my inventory data, I can see warehouses. I can also see in stock and committed. A nice way right from here, instead of having to go over to a inventory analysis, I can see what is in stock, what's committed on sales orders, what's been ordered through purchase orders, and what's available for me. Under my planning data, I can see if I'm going to be uh, buying this or making it, we're going to be buying it, and also if it's available to me on a planning MRP. It's a nice way when I run my MRP reports that I can look at how this item has been moving through my stock. If I was producing this, I would have production data. I can also have properties associated with this. So as you can see, I can have up to 64 different properties, and that would be a nice way of me putting into product groups. We can see here, I could assign this to group A, group B, group C. Maybe it's a material, a consumable, whatever it might be. This just now allows me a really nice way of reporting on this. I can also put remarks and attachments associated with the item master. So thank you very much for listening to a very quick overview of our inventory item master data.